We have a saying in our office because people have expansion dreams of grandeur. So listen, I want you to think nationally, but work locally. Keep your head in the clouds to inspire you, but keep your feet on the ground to move you. If you want to grow nationally, guess what you got to do? You got to move locally. You got to move regionally. Then you can have a system and a process and a track record and a, and a case study for people to follow in different markets. And when you have a plan of execution, what's the start time and what's the deadline? Your plan of execution, if it doesn't have a deadline, it's easy to have a start time. And by the way, sometimes people don't even have a start time when it comes to execute. They're planning, they're planning, they're planning, they're planning, but never start. But assuming you do have a start time, what's the deadline? I often ask people, what do you want to do? What are you excited about? I don't know. Back to clarity, number one. Then I ask them, okay, I ask them that, listen, where's the situation now that you have something to quantify so therefore you look back on your year and say, yeah, man, now I've got something to show for instead of something to owe for. What, what is going to be your tangible result that your husband, your wife, your children say, you know, mommy and daddy were away at the office and they're doing all this work, man, but they're not getting ahead. How come, mommy? How come I see everybody else vacationing? I see everybody else going on those company trips. I see everybody else enjoying their life. I see everybody else doing that. But mommy and daddy, aren't you working just as hard, mommy and daddy? Here's the problem with some mommy and daddies. They're not executing. They look good. They sound good. They talk good. But they don't what? They don't execute good. Don't expect to hire somebody and they're going to do the job for you. They care more about the position than you. Don't hand the keys. Don't trust the keys to somebody that doesn't care about the business to begin with. They just have a job, which is understandable. But nobody's going to love more the business the more the movement that you're creating the company that you're creating more than you so you have to execute everything rises and falls on leadership leader says man if i'm going to execute if it's going to be it's going to be up to me steve Jobs says here the common hallucination that great ideas are the only thing you need to produce great products and services in fact steve jobs explains great execution is what you need great execution is what you need you got to get to work is a micro focus Allowing to realize the macro vision. People get caught up into the technology, but they forget what? Execution of relationships. Execution of shaking hands. Execution of being a good leader. And by the way, what is leadership? Executing leadership is getting people to do things they otherwise would not have done themselves. That's leadership, not assumptionship. And here's the thing about execution. Who do you hold yourself accountable to? Who do you have a weekly meeting with to hold yourself accountable to. Is your board of directors? Is your board of directors experienced? Is your board of directors paid and salaried? Is your board of directors, do they have a vested interest to be your board of directors? Or are they just simply an advisory board? Or are they just simply buddies on a block, kicking it there in the stoop, giving you guidance? Is it a formal accountability meeting? We've had weekly accountability meetings with Patrick and David going on nine years now. Weekly accountability meetings, and they're always not been nice. There's months there we've goofed. There was months there that we have not met our numbers, but overall, we have to earn our way, by the way, we have to earn our way with inside our business structure. We have to earn our way to those weekly accountability calls. Is, by the way, is there, I'm just curious for you. What would you rather do in your company? Would you rather pay your way or as an entrepreneur? Would you pay or would you rather pay your way for access or would you rather earn your way for access? Huh? It's easy for people to come up with cash to get their way in, to get into the, into the door. But if you earn your way, that's a different story. When you earn your way to a special special meeting or a special mentorship session or a special conversation versus buying into it, guess what? You value it more. Because money is just, you just blow money, you just throw money at it. And some people don't value the money they throw at it. But guess what you value if you earn your way there? You value the time, the grind, the effort, the blood, the sweat, and the tears. You're going to value that meeting a lot more. See, in our company, even though people are going to start their own insurance agency, people can just buy their way to becoming an agency owner. You have to earn your way to becoming an agency owner. And by the way, that's the way we designed it, to get away from the wannabes, to focus on the really bees, the people that really get it done, not people that just buy it because you can get credit card or home equity line of credit and, boom, and people blow the money that way too as well without understanding the recourse of doing such a thing, without execution. People are foolish that way. But people that earn their way by executing their way, guess what? Every bit of milestone along the way they value, they cherish, they embrace. Because the only time you look back in your life is to realize and feel grateful and thankful of how far you've come.